Alright, so here's my wing. Um, as you can see, it's just a delta wing. I've got a little brushless motor on the back. When I say little, it's a 1450 kV. Um, and it pulls about 20 amps. It's This is a 7x7 seven seven APC prop. Uh, I've actually, I strapped my cell phone on there and turned the GPS on. And I clocked it at 70 miles per hour. Um, which is pretty ridiculous for just that tiny little motor. Uh, it was a little bit windy, and that was going with the wind. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, here's the, the different things that I've done with my plane um, compared to everything else I've seen. Uh, first of all, up here, is I've got air brakes. Twin, and they're centered so that they don't really affect the yaw as much. Um, and they are just about right over the center of gravity. So they really don't, um, they really, like I said, they really don't affect the yaw that much. Uh, here on the wing tips, this is probably one of my favorite things I did with this. I actually, I glued magnets, three magnets, one at the front, one in the middle, one at the back. And the same on the wing tip, uh, one in the middle, front, and back. So the wing tips, or winglets, whatever you want to call them, actually just snap right into place and they hold on quite well during flight. I haven't lost one um, from turbulence or anything yet. I did knock one off while I was hand launching it once but uh, yeah that worked quite well. I've just got some duct tape on the front to protect it because um, they do fall off upon landing usually because I don't really have a very soft landing field it's just um, a hay field that's cut. But uh, So I've got Two 9 gram servos for my aileron slash elevators. Um, my ESC is mounted up here on the top so it gets some cooling. Now this is something you might have uh, thought looks kind of funky. That's because it kind of is. This is a just a piece of foam with two magnets on the bottom and then just kind of strengthened it with one across the top there. And it just slides in here into this slot and holds the plane together because I actually built this this plane so that you can fold it in half and of course both the winglets come off and so there's your entire plane and you can pack it up in a backpack or whatever you want uh, so that I really like that although I haven't dared flying it upside down just because I'm pretty sure if I did um, that spar, this spar would break and that would not be good. That'd be a, a dead plane. So here's just a closer view of how I did this. Um, as you can see, I just, I, I built the wing first, both the wings, I taped them together on the bottom and, uh, and then mounted my motor to a separate piece of foam that I glued down onto the uh, right wing, as you can see here. Um, so it is fixed to this side of the wing and then on this side I did not glue this to here I just put a magnet uh, I don't think the magnet really helps anything I probably would just not put that in next time but around the edge I've lined it with foam uh, so it's got kind of a pocket that it sits in and if it it moves at all uh, it kind of pushes up against this so there's no slop in it I've got my receiver tucked up in there uh, this is kind of a mess all the wires but uh, I don't know if you can focus on that. All right, so you can see that red, uh, the red tire or whatever it's called, wire tie here in the middle. Um, I kind of had to just play around with the wires for a little bit until they would all fold in when I closed the plane. Uh, and but that works pretty well now. So here you can see my ESC. Uh, it's just kind of mounted. Half of it is under the um, support tab, but it stays plenty cool while flying. And then those wires from the ESC just go back to my motor. Um, and uh, as you can see, I just got a little, another piece of foam board mounted underneath um, so that that support piece sits flush with the top of the wing. Um, and then here's my battery area, which I've I cut the slit along the bottom a little bit wider so that my uh, Velcro can slide out of the way as you can see right here it slides over this way 
so that um, when I fold it, it's not like creased in the middle and it doesn't bend my foam. And when I go to fly, I just slide it back in the middle like that. As you can see, I, here's where I kind of copied flight test. Um, kudos to them, those guys are awesome. But uh, I copied them with their spar design. Um, I've used it before and it works really well, so I went ahead and did it on this one. So as you can see, there's the tabs on the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically it. I'll go ahead and uh, plug it in and show you how everything works. All right, I've got it plugged in. Here's my air brakes. As you can see, I'm using a Flysky uh, TH9X. Um, I've got my air brakes on my gear switch, so they just fold in and fold out. Um, elevator and aileron. Uh, I've got low rates and high rates on both. Um, I can do high speed passes on low rates and it's really easy to control. On high rates you can just mess around and have fun, do tricks and stuff. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is I made the attack angle on the center of the wing uh, a little bit more than on the wingtips. On the wingtips it's a normal airfoil but here in the center I've actually got a crease going along the bottom that goes to the wingtips and that makes it so that the wingtips will stall after the center of the wing stalls. That way you don't lose your control and it just kind of noses down in flight and it's really easy to fly at slow speeds. <laughs> the turbulence. It's pretty bad, huh? Yeah. There you go. There we go. High speed here. I'll catch it, maybe. Can you not film it? I'm not filming it. But I'll catch it when you're going to land. If you fly into the wind when you're landing. Ha 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 ha. 